Oh, this is uh, Ajahn Sumedho. Uh, I'm uh, arrived safely back at Amaravati in England uh, and to say a few words of appreciation for um, the uh, hospitality and the interest that I experienced while I was in Malaysia in Kuala Lumpur and Penang. And of course the Ajahn Chah day on the 16th of January was very inspiring to see so many people interested uh, <clears throat> in uh, my teachers who has passed away many years ago but whose uh, teaching still is uh, very clear and precise and, and he is even now more famous than he was when he was alive. Um, I really enjoyed the seeing the, the interest uh, that you all showed and the commitment and the eagerness to learn amongst the people that I met in Malaysia and this is something to uh, really uh, praise and encourage this interest because uh, it is a Buddhism is to me is is a teaching that really helps one to deal with the existence with the whole span of one's lifetime in which we have to deal with the uh, worldly dhammas, praise and blame, success, failure, happiness, suffering, uh, loss of loved ones, separation from the loved and so forth. So that this is a, the Buddha's teaching is, is to encourage us to pay attention to life and be awake and learn from it rather than uh, always trying to uh, escape suffering or blame it on so somebody or something else. Uh, this uh, practice that that I've been involved in for the past 43 years uh, has certainly paid off in my lifetime. Uh, what I've learned and and uh, the result of my commitment to monastic life and uh, practicing uh, Buddhist meditation is is something that I am extremely. Uh, grateful for having such an opportunity and I do appreciate um, uh, Sian Ma's uh, interest in his uh, invitation for us to go to uh, Malaysia to share our knowledge with those who are interested and so it was uh, something that I found great joy in and felt very inspired myself to see uh, the whole family, Cien's whole family, including his mother and sisters, brother and in-laws and nieces and so forth, all attending the retreat at the Genting Hills, uh, which was also a very memorable and pleasant uh, experience for me. The, the one thing that I can really share with, with all of you uh, is that what I've learned from my life as a Buddhist monk, uh, practicing in this tradition, in this way, uh, of course under the guidance, the first ten years was directly under the guidance of uh, Ajahn Chah, and uh, so his influence is, in my life is, has been, uh, of, you know, the, probably the most significant person uh, that I've encountered in my lifetime. <coughs> And so uh, his uh, uh, the appreciation and respect that people are showing for him in Malaysia also uh, gives me great joy because uh, of all the people I've met in my life, uh, Ajahn Chah I think is uh, you know very unique, and wise, and uh, worthy of all the respect and praise that he is still receiving, even though he has uh, passed away many years ago. Uh, when I left Malaysia, I went to back to Thailand, where I had uh, the cataract surgery on both uh, eyes, which has been very successful. And uh, now I can see uh, better. I can see without glasses, you know, quite clearly. All I, I need glasses for is for uh, reading a small print. So this is quite uh, something 
uh, quite magnificent in itself, the modern medical procedures which can restore eyesight when you're 75 years old. Uh, so, uh, again I send you all my best wishes uh, and uh, my encouragement and respect for your interest and your commitment and for all the uh, organization, management, and hard work that went in the, into arranging uh, the both the retreat uh, and the uh, Ajahn Chah Day, and also for those in Penang, Larry Lim, and and people there that arranged for my very brief stay uh, in that beautiful place. And so I hope to have another opportunity to visit you all in Malaysia sometime in the future. Uh, and wish you all the very best.